Welcome. This video demonstrates how to generate an input file for the Unisim Process Simulator. We will be using Synapse for this demonstration. The identical capabilities are also available in Cranium. Please see our videos on how to download and install Cranium Reader or Synapse Reader if you need a working version of the software to follow this demonstration. To begin, open the MKS Sample Knowledge Base. This knowledge base is included with all of our software products. Each of Synapse's documents is set up as an electronic reference book. In the MKS sample knowledge base, information on chemicals, mixtures, estimation techniques, structural groups, elements, and references are all collected into different chapters. These chapters are accessed by clicking on the tabs at the top of the documents window. Navigate to the chemicals chapter. Each page of the chemicals chapter contains information on a different chemical. There are data on descriptive properties, structural properties, constant properties, critical properties, temperature dependent properties, temperature and pressure dependent properties, safety properties, and many more. Data are often shown in both tabular and graphical forms. Navigate to the chemical 1 propanol. This can be done by clicking on the navigation menu and selecting the go to command. Synapse will display the go to chemical dialog. Type propanol in the match substring edit box and Synapse will list all the chemicals that have propanol in their name. Select one propanol and press the OK button. Synapse changes to the page showing all of one propanol's data. To generate physical property estimates, we simply click on the commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Synapse displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button, and Synapse will estimate values for more than 30 different physical properties. Finally, press the Save button, and Synapse will store these estimates into the current knowledge base. To enter temperature-dependent properties, we must first enter one or more temperatures. Scroll to the temperature dependent section and click on the property control. Change the property to the liquid vapor pressure and change the values type to estimates. Press the OK button. Click the left mouse button on the fields table. Synapse activates the values entry dialog. Click and hold the left mouse button on the first row and drag the mouse lower so as to select several rows. Next, press the series button. Enter a starting temperature of 0 degrees C and an ending temperature of 120 degrees C. Then press the OK button. Synapse has generated a range of temperature values within these two limits. Press the Save button. These are the temperatures at which we are asking Synapse to generate estimates. Click the right mouse button on the Fields table and select the Compute Estimates command. Again, Synapse displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button and Synapse will calculate an estimate for each of the entered temperatures. Finally, press the Save button and Synapse will store these estimates into the current knowledge base. The fields graph compares our estimated values with data values. The estimated values are denoted by diamonds. The data values are denoted by squares. The different colors indicate that their associated values came from different references. Click the left mouse button on the graph. Synapse displays the Values Details dialog. The dialog shows that there are three different color squares 
indicating data from three different references. We also see there are two different color diamonds, indicating two different estimation techniques. Synapse decided to use the Dipper equation for certain temperatures and Antoine's equation for other temperatures. One of Cranium and Synapse's key capabilities is to quickly and easily estimate the physical properties of new chemicals, chemicals that are not in any database. For example, we will add an entry for trans 1-chloro 333 trifluoropropene. This chemical is a new liquid blowing agent. We add a new chemical by first pressing the large plus button on the toolbar. Synapse adds a new blank page to the chemicals chapter. Click on the identifier field at the top of the window. Enter the new chemical's name, trans 1-chloro 333-trifluoropropene. Enter a reference and comments. Press the Save button to store this value back into our knowledge base. Scroll to the Chemical Structure section. Click the left mouse button on the Structure Entry field and Synapse will activate the Structure Editor dialog. Enter the chemical's molecular structure. Three carbons, one chloro, 333-trifluoro. Because there is a double bond, we will add explicit hydrogens. Connect these atoms with bonds first single bonds, and then the double bond. Finally, clean up the structure and press the Save button. Synapse stores the structure into the current knowledge base. The name and the molecular structure are the only data we have for our new chemical. Click on the Commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Press the Estimate button and again Synapse will estimate the values for more than 30 physical properties. In this case Synapse will estimate these values using only the molecular structure as input information. Press Save. We see that Synapse has estimated constant properties, critical properties, thermodynamic properties, and many more properties. To export these estimates to a Unisim input file, click on the File menu and select the Export Values command. Synapse will activate the export dialog. This dialog shows the output file formats that Synapse can generate. Select the Unisim format and press the export button. The Unisim input file requires a path name and one or more chemicals to export. Click on the New File button and enter a path name for the input file. Press Save. Scroll the list of chemicals and select the name of our newly entered chemical. For demonstration purposes, select two or three other chemicals. Finally press the Export button. Synapse will begin estimating the properties needed from the Unisim input file. Press the Done button and Synapse will show the generated Unisim input file. Synapse estimated constant properties such as molecular weight, critical properties, Gibbs energy information, enthalpy information. Synapse also estimated values for temperature dependent properties such as the liquid viscosity. It then regressed these values into specific equations 
and wrote these equations coefficients into the input file. Synapse also dissected the molecular structure and output the series of UNIFAC groups. Scrolling further down, we see entries for the next exported chemical, and then the next one. This input file can now be imported using the functionality within the Unisim software program. This concludes our video demonstration of Synapse's capabilities for generating Unisim input files. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about Synapse or Cranium or any questions about physical properties in general. Thank you.